Uh, uh, just like yesterday, the principles, the four principles that have been on the ground uh, today being their day three of their Western Circuit Rally, they will be leading two parallel uh, campaign rallies. Uh, Raila Odinga and Moses Wetangula will be in Team A. Then um, Saliam Davadi and Kalonzo will be in Team B. As uh, we speak, Raila is in Ekwanda, but his ma first major rally will be in Luanda town. And then he will head to Kima and then Kilingili before uh, passing briefly at the Mbale Cultural Center, then uh, come here at Mbale for the main rally. Whereas uh, Musaliam Davadi and Kalonzo Musioka are at Chavakali as we speak. From Chavakali, they'll go to Sabatia. Then from Sabatia, they'll go to Cheptulu. Then uh, uh, from Cheptulu, they'll go to Shamahoho before uh, joining our forces here for the major rally. It is a critical uh, uh, rally for Musaliam Davadi because this is his territory. This is his backyard. And just like Moses Wetangula yesterday in Bungoma, they will be seeking to explain to their supporters as to why they had to shelve their ambitions in support of Raila Odinga or rather throw their weight behind the united opposition candidate, that is Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. What do we expect, apart from telling their community, their supporters, what is in store for them? Because in Bungoma and Transoya, they were telling them that uh, with Tangula getting a peace plus uh, Musalia combined together, it gives the major stake in NASA government should they form it in August compared to the other three. So they were telling that um, uh, they stand to benefit a great deal and the more reason that they need to support NASA. However, we might also expect another showdown like what happened in Bungoma yesterday, the sibling rivalry between the NASA affiliate parties. ODM that has been dominant in this part of the region plus Ford Kenya supporters clashed after Kakamega Senator uh, appear to endorse uh, Bungoma uh, Ford Kenya uh, governor aspirant weekly Wangamati in the presence of uh, uh, Hangati Alfred uh, that uh, brought some chaos. So here in Vihiga County we expect the same because we have uh, ANC where Msaliam David is the party leader. They believe they have this is their territory. ODM that has been in the region a dominant party for a while will also be coming to the fore and we also have the governor Moses Akaranga of PPK in as much as he operated as a, an orphaned governor because it's only him and one MCA that were elected on the PPK party but nonetheless they believe it's their home so that is the kind of rivalry but I think to tell you more here is what transpired in their day two campaign rally what we witnessed in Bungoma Take a look. With, with just, just 45, 45 days to go before, before the Titanic, Titanic Electro Battle, battle NASA, NASA principles were keeping an, an eye on, on the Court of Appeal as they, they took their campaign, campaign to the crucial county, county of Bungoma. Bungoma. They, they are elected by, by the decision that, that the presidential, presidential results, results declare that the constituency will, will be final. final. Welcome in my morning, final. <laughs> Was he here? Was he here? To the Ambia at the Takilu Janja, a Kupelek and a Robi, a Kupano Karabak. Sasa Mahakam and Kubanazis. Sasa Mukora, Sasa Marbaya, but he is a Pichuka. Sick and visiting Gapi. Sick Yao Yarbain and Sick Africa. Meme Nataka Kama Okili. Ni wapongeze majaji wa mahakama ya court of appeal kwa uamuzi wao. With just 45 days to go before the Titanic Electro Battle, NASA principals were keeping an eye on the court of appeal as they took their campaign to the crucial county of Bungoma. They are elated by the decision that the presidential results declare that the constituency will be final. Welcome in my morning, final. Was he here? Was he here? To the Ambia, at the Takilu Janja, at the Kupeleke Narobi, at the Kupanyo Karabak. Sasa Mahakam and Kupanyo Nazis. Sasa Mkwakora. Sasa marbaya marahi, sasa pechuka. 
Siku ya mwezi ni ngapi? 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 Ni wapongeze majaji wa mahakama ya court of appeal kwa uamuzi wao kwamba sasa kura zitahesabiwa hapa hapa Wangapi wanafurahia uamuzi huo The NASA leaders are not relenting in their claims that the IEBC has failed to be an independent referee Dalili ya mvua ni nini? Ati dalili ya mvua ni nini? IBC na Jubilee walikuwa kidhani wataendelea na ule wizi wa kawaida. Sasa kura ikihesabiwa kwa kituo hapo hapo maejeni ndio wanatoa ripoti nyingine inaenda kwa constituency kama hii ya Kandui. Ikimalizikia Kandui ile kule horizon imetangazwa hapa ni final. Alafu inapeperushwa mpaka kwa presidential tiling center. Safari hii Jubilee hawana Awana, awana, awana bahati. Nataka mungoma muambia wana jubili. Wazi payuke, payuke. Tume wakamatia chini. Kamata chini, kamatia chini, 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 kamata chini, kamatia chini. Even the Chief Justice did not escape their salvos. It is important that when a Chief Justice is making a pronouncement, he should have some notes, or he should read a speech. He should not just talk as if he's in a baraza. Chief Justice David Maraga, all over the world, in comparable jurisdictions, Chief Justices are known by the distinction and quality of the judgments they write and pronounce, not from roadside pronouncements like you are doing. That is very dangerous for our country. Day two of their charm offensive mission saw NASA crisscross Bungoma County conducting two parallel rallies led by Raila Odinga and Moses Wetangula in Cheptais, Sirisia, Chuele and Bumula, while Kalonzo Msioke and Msaliam Davadi covered Tongaren Kimilili and Webuye before joining forces at the final rally at Bungoma's poster grounds. Hayama hawana maslahi ya wananchi. Hawangalii maslahi ya wananchi wanaangalia ubinafsi peke yake. Biashara ya kilimo ya pande hii imekufa. Pande ya mahindi imekufa. Banaki mbolea wanaleta ili mbolea mbandia. Ukiweka kwa mahindi mahindi inakuwa manjano. Alafu pande nyingine viwanda vimekufa. Komias imekufa. Zoya inasheta sheta. Pepa imeenda. Kitinda kwanza chochote. Wetangu and Mudavadi took the opportunity to justify to their supporters why they shared their ambitions in support of Raila Odinga. Tuna la kujivunia na jubili. Hakuna. Unasikia wengine kama lusaka wanasema ati wanaenda kwa serikali. Sisi hatutaki kuenda kwa serikali, sisi tutakuwa serikali. Uhuru amesema jana ati NASA wanataka serikali ya nusumukata. Sumeona kwa gazeti leo? Wengine maona kwa gazeti ati sisi tunataka serikali ya nusu mkate. Yeye ndio ameona anashindwa, anajaribu kujipanga, anafikiri atapata nusu ya NASA. Waacha hiyo. Waacha hiyo. Waacha wa ukora. NASA affiliate parties rivalry nearly scuttled the rally as ODM and Ford Kenya supporters clashed after Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale endorsed Ford Kenya's Bungoma gubernatorial candidate Weekly Fongamati, leaving behind ODM's Alfred Hangati. It took the intervention of Raila Odinga to calm the situation. <laughs> Ni kuwacha watu wetu wanapigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe 
Alavu Lusaka na Peter Katikati. Sasawa. Sasawa. Mpaka tu sikizani. Manake governor atakuwa ni moja peke yake. Sawa. Jubilee party is banking on Bungoma governor Ken Lusaka who is the appointment to harvest votes in the region. After day-long campaigns in Bungoma County, NASA lives with their heads high, given that they consider this as their bedrock. However, perhaps it's that sibling rivalry between affiliate parties that might cost them. In the event, it continues. Duncan Hemba, KTN, Bungoma. Right, and yep. uh, Duncan Hyber continues. Th that to is uh, what happened. All right, there you go, Duncan Hyber there. And uh, he continues to join us live uh, following the NASA campaign trail now currently in Busia. So that's what happened yesterday, Duncan. And what are we likely to see today in terms of uh, tough wars, so to speak, uh, between ODM and ANC in Busia? That is what we actually expect to uh, play. Remember that uh, we've witnessed before. Remember what happened last year as Moses Wetangula was launching his presidential bid in Kakamega. In the presence of Kalonzo Msioka, they were tear gassed and they had to scamper uh, for their safety uh, for after ODM uh, supporters and Ford Kenya clashed. Of course, uh, the Kakamega governor, who is ODM deputy party leader, was not comfortable with that launch in that town for the simple reason that uh, uh, Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale, now the deputy party leader of Ford Kenya, wants to unseat him. And uh, that has been the situation even when they were in Buhungu, you could read political tension between those two parties. So here in Vihiga, it will be the same. As I said, this is the home county from Saliam Davadi. Many will be, uh, believe it is home to ANC party, but ODM is still strong. Even in 2013, uh, they got uh, the woman representative from this particular county, even with uh, some members of parliament. And therefore, it shows you the kind of tough wars that might be at play. And therefore, it will be important just to see how they will control this having learned what happened or what occurred yesterday in Bungoma. So tough was definitely expected because ODM still wants to stamp their authority, but NC believes this is their territory, just like Ford Kenya was trying to ring fence Bungoma. Michelle. Uh, and uh, Haimba, we've seen the Jubilee Brigade also hold several rallies uh, in, in the western region. What will the NASA team be campaigning on this time to seemingly uh, undo the gains that Jubilee has made in the region? Yes, in terms of uh, visibility or vote hunting mission, Jubilee has been very consistent. They've uh, focused in two specific counties uh, largely, that is Bungoma and Kakamega. That is where Jubilee thinks that they have party members that are loyal. Loyal. They've not been paying keen attention to Vihiga County because uh, uh, this is Msaliam Davadi staff. And as I mentioned earlier, they've been banking on Ken, uh, Ken Lusaka, the Bungoma governor, with a few MPs like Washial in Kakamega, uh, just to see that uh, that is the area that they focus on. So Jubilee has not been keen, perhaps for the simple reason they consider this part being a hard sell, just like you've never seen them go deep into South Nyanza. The farthest they go is Migori, and then uh, Kisi. That is the only region that Jubilee tends to focus. Even the five years, we've seen very minimal of President Uhuru Kenyatta even touring the, the area in Nyanza that they know it is a hard sell for Jubilee Party. Therefore, it will be interesting just to hear the message that the NASA principals will be sending to this particular support base, which they consider an already converted lot, so to speak, Michelle. And of course, uh, uh, in the wake of that uh, court ruling yesterday on the presidential vote uh, being final at the constituency level, are we expecting any, any major pronouncements by the NASA Brigade? Yesterday, you saw how they applied their minds on it. They are very, very happy even uh, the NASA candidate, Raila Odinga, uh, sensationally pulling that uh, track that is uh, famous with the youth, Kamatia Chini, and saying, now I'm a Kamatia Jubilee Chini. Kalonzo was more than happy. In fact, after his comment, he left the rally immediately going to Nairobi. But perhaps what they'll still 
apply their mind on is that controversial ballot paper printing tender by the, uh, given to Al Greer by IABC. So uh, I'm not sure that uh, they are about to let that particular narrative rest. But as far as uh, the vote tallying at constituency level being ruled in their favor, just like in high court, perhaps they might emphasize for the purpose of reassuring their supporters that what they wanted uh, has been upheld. That perhaps they might touch on it because they seem to be celebrating what they consider as a major victory in Raila's words. But most probably the fact that now the Chief Justice has appointed a bench, a three-judge bench, that will uh, give a verdict on whether IBC as tender of uh, awarded to the Dubai-based printing firm should uh, continue. That is something that perhaps uh, they might continue to apply their mind on. Although it is uh, NASA is full of uh, legal minds, as they keep saying, Kalonzo and Wetangula. So perhaps they might decide that it's not prudent to touch on that issue. But definitely the ballot paper headache uh, printing tender most likely will be revisited, Michelle. And but finally, give us a brief of the stops that uh, uh, the team is expected to make in Busia. I understand before the final rally, a few stops may be made in the in the region. Yes, uh, there's uh, even in Busia. It's only in Transoya where their initial plan of uh, doing parallel campaign teams uh, sort of uh, was changed the last minute. But in, Trans in Bungoma yesterday to them they believe the strategy worked because I think NASA is trying to stretch Jubilee and perhaps NASA knowing that uh, this is a very expensive uh, campaign and a high-stake election, they are deciding perhaps to make use of uh, their time, the limited time that they have. Remember, we only have 44 days. So they've decided, for instance, if they land in Vihiga County, they spread as much as they can uh, the principles. They are two, two in each team before the final rally. In Busia, it will be the same. There is that uh, team that will be in Funula, that will go to Budalangi, that will go to uh, 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 Matayos, and that will go to Bumula. Then there is that team that will start from Teso North, Teso South, uh, again uh, before uh, joining, uh, uh, passing through Nambale, before, for the, before meeting at the final rally in Busia Town. So that is the strategy that NASA is applying. If they land in an area, they are sort of uh, operating like army worms. The moment they land, they are trying to cover the whole area. Uh, they are going very extensive before the final rally, which in most cases is actually ending up running late. Like in Kitale, they began their rally shortly after 4.30. Uh, yesterday they tried uh, in Bungoma. We are not sure how it will be in Vihiga, which is largely extensive and expansive. So that is the strategy. Even in Busia, they'll be doing parallel campaign rallies before the final or the major one in Busia town. Michelle. Many thanks, uh, Duncan Heimberg. They're live from Busia. He's the man on the NASA.